Hi, my name is Greg Baker. I'm a certified crop advisor uh, residing here in Gridley, California. And my primary role is to work personally with growers uh, in their crops, permanent orchards, row crops, as well as rice. I also work with manufacturers and chemists in developing their products and marketing their products uh, pretty much in the 12 counties, Sacramento and to the north. You know, we're always looking for uh, ways to improve uh, the growers' uh, uh, yields as well as their overall vigor of their crops. And uh, water is obviously a major player in that. And I think the attractive components of magnation is certainly water quality, uh, water penetration, uh, all have uh, positions uh, in, in, in the field. And uh, water quality would be pH, TDS, bicarbonates, uh, SAR adjustments, water penetration obviously is derivatives of, of lack of calcium uh, to uh, create uh, gravity pores and uh, downward penetration of water and again magnation can align with uh, resolving these problems. I really think it's no secret either that you know uh, we're going to have to learn to do less more with less in uh, the format and that includes water as well and, and uh, growers are continuing to look for ways to save water and through deficit irrigation and uh, keeping their uh, irrigation systems uh, as efficient as possible and mag magnation is a complement of that uh, by providing uh, the water in a format that is usable in the soil and as well as the crop. price point is realistic in comparison to other uh, products in the market. Uh, it's backed up by a seven year warranty and, and thirdly there's a money back guarantee with it as well. Uh, so it's essentially a risk free in my opinion to the grower but uh, Magnation's uh, uniqueness uh, with managing water is really I think a, an attractive point. Um, and, in simplicity, I can explain it to the grower as, as, as that we're not really changing the water in its dimensions as we know how uh, acids may change waters by pH uh, manipulation. Uh, there's often many testing done that we're really fractioning uh, the salts in the water and not allowing them to tie up uh, based on uh, the charges uh, that they comply with. Uh, the magnets interfere with that and uh, do, I think, a pretty good job of it in keeping things from locking up and then inter being introduced into the soil and locking up more in the soil. 